Its goal was, and this was set by the president of the company, to be 100 times faster than any other, uh, anything that existed. Uh, it was actually the first one was going to be, was built for Los Alamos, and, um, and it became, uh, and it, it, it became, and it, the computing at that time was still extremely primitive, and computers were primitive. Um, and the and people it was it, it was a it, and stretch was absolutely the right word for it, um, and I pointed out I point out on the second line a a problem that the people uh, the designers recognized actually in 1955 that memory uh, access time was going to be the, their biggest challenge. It's still our biggest challenge in computing. We don't know how to get the data to the computation. And, and, uh, and, and, and it's still, uh, there's still been caches, all kinds of things since then, and it's still, still a huge, huge problem. Um, the, so the total project was an, involved an extraordinary piece of hardware and some extraordinary compiler to go with it, and I was part of the compiler uh, activity. And, uh, but in addition to the, uh, the stretch part, there was an, a, another attachment bigger than stretch and a totally different machine for the National Security Agency, and I was involved with that also. The, not with the, the hardware at, at all, but with, the, with um, building uh, the compiler for it and the comp language for it. That is, is still one of the most, is still would be, a, outside of the base technology, a, an amazing machine today. It was a machine that ha was hosted by Stretch. It had a streaming data computational model. It was, uh, it was one of a kind. Um, a, the, the, it had eight instructions with unbounded execution times, and of course, the basic what was 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 uh, basic purpose of the machine was to do code breaking uh, from uh, on data collected up on listening stations around the world, and uh, and it was so and and so and the and there was another part to it I don't mention here was where the data was stored, which was an integral part of the the com the computational units. And, and it is the only system that has ever been built that had perfectly balanced I.O. Uh, memory and, uh, com and computational speeds. So, so thousands of, uh, hundreds of thousands of bytes of data could flow through and be analyzed looking for patterns. Of course, that's what code, code breaking is, is largely about, looking for patterns and accumulating data and um, uh, uh, on, uh, on the, um, as a result of the harvest section. 